So from our NRL game on Saturday night, our players pulled up reasonably well. Um, we're going into a buy round, so we've given them a little bit extra time off after the game, come in this morning to start that training process and build towards the night's game um, in about 10 days' time. The only one from the NRL squad was Mark Nichols, failed that HIA in the first uh, half of the game. Um, he was pretty symptomatic over the weekend, so our doctors have been keeping close eye on him. He's now symptom free today. He starts that seven stage return to play protocol with the concussion around the NRL guidelines, and we're hopeful that he progresses through that and he's fit to play versus the Knights. So with the buy round this week, our New South Wales Cup team is actually uh, prepping to play a game on the weekend. So we have a few players that have been out and missed some game time that are, that are gonna come back through that game on the weekend. So Josh Mansour missed on the weekend, had the concussion against Penrith. He's completed his return to um, play concussion protocol, trained fully today, done contact with the team. He'll get some game time on the weekend in the New South Wales Cup game. We had Liam Knight, who um, was a late withdrawal on the weekend. Um, so we had some groin soreness and tightness in our captain's run. So he was unavailable to play in either grade on the weekend. He's now over that soreness and tightness. He's put in a couple of good training sessions, trained fully today, and he's available to play in that New South Wales Cup game on the weekend. And Troy Dargan um, missed the New South Wales Cup game on the weekend just been. He had a little groin strain. Um, on our game day minus three last week, so middle of the week last week, had a little groin strain. Um, he's bounced back, he's done a couple of sessions of rehab running there, he's up to around about 95% speed. We're hopeful that he'll get into training with the team towards the back end of this week and be available for that New South Wales Cup game on the weekend. So with that buy round, it's a really good opportunity for our, our New South Wales Cup guys to get a lot of reps in in our, our training sessions. Quite often we find that it's the that it's the reserve grade prepping the first grade and we're taking the opportunity in our first grade players are actually going to prep that second grade team. So it's really, really good from a club point of view that we keep on training through this buy period. Our NRL team are starting to prepare for the Knights, but our New South Wales Cup team are starting to prepare for the game on the weekend. The final one in long-term rehab is Jackson Paulo. He had that scaphoid fracture a few weeks ago against the Raiders. So it's, he's around about four or five weeks into his recovery now. It's a longer, longer recovery process for those wrist injuries. It's a bone that, that struggles to heal often at times. So he's due to have another follow-up scan next week. He's been completing a lot of rehab running, a lot of fitness work, and a lot of leg strengthening, but he hasn't been able to do a lot in his upper body so far. He's got a scan at the back end of next week that'll hopefully show us that we can progress. And we're hopeful that either just before the, the next buy round, so around about that Broncos week, or if not, just after the buy round, which will be the Tigers game, that he'll be available to play.